Sup legends of FoodTube, I've brought you down to the famous Jersey Shore in New Jersey to cook up one of my favourite dishes, my super clean fresh tacos. Full of colour, you cannot have that gorgeous ripe brown avocado for a guacamole and a beautiful white fish to top it off. It is outlandishly legendary. Really simple to start. First thing you do is you're going to pickle a Spanish or red onion makes it a little bit sweeter, it adds a little element of colourful awesomeness and it breaks down all those natural goodness inside the Spanish onion. And then just whack them into a bowl. Get out the trusty old Mr Lemon, give a bit of a roll out and then start to add that acidic love. Add a pinch of salt, set it aside, minimum 20-30 you know, minutes, allow it to change colour, get that sweetness I was telling you about. And now onto the guacamole because no taco would be super epic without that green, creamy goodness. Simply grab your avocado, get the end of your knife, twist. So having one avocado will serve four people. Super simple. Look at that. Look at that awesomeness. Before we get mashing, there's a couple things we need to do. We need to add a bit of you know natural epicness to our guacamole. So I'm just gonna have a bit of heat. Bit of chili, lovely green cilantro, coriander, call it what you will, or you can just call it a flavour bomb. That works for me. If you always taste the leaf and you love that flavour, just remember the origin of the flavour comes from the root. So I've got about half a bunch of coriander. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Okay, add a cracked pepper, leftover juice. When it comes to guacamole, it's very much about personality. What drives you, what do you love? And there's so much variance. Everyone always says their mother has the best guacamole. Well, you know, I haven't tasted your mother's yet, but I can tell you mine's pretty wicked. I always add a little bit of olive oil. Then just grab your fork and get mushing. Look at that. Now the reason why these tacos are super clean, because they're not deep fried, they're not battered, they're in a little bit of olive oil, and you're using super colorful ingredients to bring it all together. As always, quality check. Oh, it's so good. A little bit of olive oil. We've got our guacamole set. Our onions have been chilling, having some fun. I'm gonna chop up our tomato and cucumber. Lovely bit of color to our Spanish onion pot of awesomeness. Then getting a quarter of our cucumber. Again, slicing it to the same uniform. Then just stir it all together. And this is what they call a pico de gallo salad. But look at that, it's beautiful. It's vibrant, it's loving. And you get the natural sweetness coming out from those lemon juice marinated Spanish onion. You get the crunch of the cucumber and the freshness from that. And then the carry through from the beautiful little bit of natural awesomeness that is the saucy tomato. It's time to fire up our pan. Get your drizzle of lovely olive oil on. Now it's time to crisp up your fish. In terms of fish, I always just say whatever's local, whatever's you know, sustainable for you. I'm using whiting because it's local to the area. I was actually, I broke it down myself. I'm gonna add in some salt just to their flesh and some cracked pepper. There is nothing better than going down to the beach with your mates, bringing your guacamole, cooking up some fresh white fillets and spreading them out, ready to be eaten in a beautiful masa corn tortilla. It's almost cooked all the way through on both sides. I'm just going to kiss the other side of the pan. You can pick up gluten-free corn masa tortillas from your local supermarket. I'm just adding them to the pan with no oil so there's dry heat just to give it a bit of warmth. When it comes to our fish, this is what you're looking for. So it can beautifully flake apart. See that? It's not overcooked. It's still got that beautiful natural oil coming out of it. Now it's time to do is plate up. So grab your guac. Don't be afraid for a healthy dose. It's going to be the creamy layer between the crunch of the colourful salad. Woo! Look at that. That is epic. Got a beautiful whiting. Now that is a taco to have on New Jersey's Jersey Shore. Prepare yourself for a flavour explosion. Super clean. The kicker is that guacamole and of course that little secret I told you about the Spanish onion. If you like what's going on, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to give me some feedback. And of course, check out some of my more exciting recipes going on. Click up here.
subscribe. I'm Dan Churchill, and I'll catch you soon for another exciting, healthy, but legendary wicked flavors of anywhere in this world. Mmm, it's so good.